real time in one of the levels of Call of Duty Ghost. Our new engine creates a huge leap in visual fidelity and graphical immersion for Call of Duty. To highlight this leap forward, let's take a look at a couple of these new features in-game. Let's start with a look at one of our new advanced tessellation features called Displacement Mapping. This feature allows our engine to create high-res geometry in real time on train surfaces that were in the past very flat. To better illustrate this, we are going to bring up some of the in-game development tools to show you what this new feature is actually doing. So with displacement maps off, you can see that the rocks on the riverbed are basically flat. However, as we slowly turn on displacement maps, you can see real geometry. The rocks, the nooks, the crags actually grow. This is a significant increase in geometric fidelity that is happening in real time in our new engine. Another great new feature of the engine is called Sub-D. This is a technique that takes once blocky geometry and builds them into perfectly smooth curves. It's been used for a while by Hollywood and film, but the breakthrough for us has been utilizing it real time in engine. So as we look down the site with Sub-D turned off, you can actually see how the edges are jagged because of the normal poly count. So now with Sub-D turned on, you can see that the normal poly count has been increased exponentially. And what's amazing about Sub-D is that it will continue to subdivide in real time as you get closer to objects. So no matter how close you get, nothing will break down. Now as you look at your player's hand and weapon with all the tech running, you can see how high resolution textures, Sub-D, the lighting, and other techniques allow us to show the most minute of details, like cuts, scrapes, and other natural imperfections. Also notice how the scope is now perfectly round. We've also implemented other features that further increase the natural look of the game. One example of this is how light affects the player's vision. As in the real world, when you look at something dark and then turn to something bright, your eyes will adjust to compensate. Displacement mapping and real-time sub-D, along with other new technologies such as HDR volumetric lighting and real-time ADSR, set a new benchmark for immersion for Call of Duty. Hey guys, it's Clutchy and welcome back to another Call of Duty Ghosts video. Now the gameplay you're actually seeing in the background is some Xbox One official Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay. And I'm going to be talking to you guys today of what the gameplay is about and why the, why it's different to the Xbox One to the Xbox 360. So you'll notice why this is on Xbox One because the frames are a lot more smoother and it's a lot more faster and the graphics are a little bit better than the Xbox 360 now. The Xbox One is a whole lot better than the 360 due to the graphics and also the frames per second in the game which improved vert verticality in the game and is going to help you guys get those fast long range kills and also some short range kills because of the frames per second built into the Xbox One. And in my perspective guys I actually can't wait for Call of Duty Ghosts it's going to be a really good game now guys I'm actually going to be getting Call of Duty Ghosts early you're probably going to be thinking what the hell how are you going to get Call of Duty Ghosts early well I'm going to be getting it early because last time I pre-ordered my Black Ops 2 Hardened Edition from the same retailer as I did this time and you guys have probably seen my recent video on how to get Call of Duty Ghosts early and you've got to pre-order it off Amazon and I'll probably get the game early because I'm, I've pre-ordered it from the same retailer which is in the European border and it's abroad so I'll probably get in Call of Duty Ghosts early so when I do get it early guys I'll be making some content to record for you guys and then when it comes to midnight launch of Call of Duty Ghosts I'll be uploading that gameplay straight away for you guys to check out here on my channel. So let's get into the gameplay. So this is some gameplay on the new map Chasm using the Vector CQB I think it's called. I think it's similar to the one Vector K10 from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. But don't correct me on that, I'm not too sure. And also, you're probably wondering why is the little briefcases on the floor. Now if you collect these briefcases what then happens is that you'll be then given a challenge and if you complete that challenge then it's going to be giving you a care package with the key em strike or the little nuke that as we like to call it but you've got to complete these certain challenges i think it's like three challenges to get the care package but whoever gets the care package first is going to get that key em strike now as far as i'm concerned 
This is domination on the map Chasm, and the score streak setup that this guy's using, or the kill streaks, is the Satcom, uh, the Guard Dog, and the Juggernaut Maniac, which is the default setup class for Call of Duty Ghosts as the default kill streak, should I say? And that's what you're going to be experiencing when you first get Call of Duty Ghosts. Now there is different kill streaks to use. Now I'll be covering a different video later on when the game actually comes out. I'll be covering most of the best score streaks, best class setups, and more. So if you guys want to see some of that on my channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for some future videos from me so the game looks really vertile actually as you can see this gameplay is on the xbox one as i've already said and it's really fast at paced and you're going to be expecting a lot more frames per second from an xbox one as it's a bigger console it's going to have a lot more ram space and it's going to have a much bigger processor than the xbox 360 and it's going to be running those like small games a lot faster and it's going to be making sure you guys get the good gameplays and all the best gameplays you can for your youtube careers so that's been it for today's video guys if you did enjoy a like rating would always be very much appreciated if not that is of course cool as well but if you guys want to see some more call of duty ghost content from me then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below it helps me out so much with everything new subscriber guys it helps my channel get bigger and better and it helps me get those videos out there but thanks for watching guys i've been clutchy and i'll see you guys on my next call of duty ghost video cheers